Okay, here we go. This time with audio. Because I'm a goober. Didn't hook my lapel mics up. This is the HSO2B. Uh, and I do have the HSO2A coming. And if there's any differences, I'll do a video on that. Uh, I will do a review, but I'll do a video actually showing if there's any differences in the firmware update. Um, so I, I'm really impressed by this iron. I really like it. Uh, in my opinion, it's, I, I think I like it because of the size. I, I think I like it better because I'm used to the old schools. They're a lot bigger. Uh, so uh, let's get into uh, the video. Let's get on the internet. Fire up the browser and uh, I'll show you the website and where to download the firmware for all, well, actually all of the firmware for Finerci stuff, uh, but the soldering irons, also all the different soldering irons. So let's get to that. Open up your favorite web browser and do a search for HSO2B firmware update. And the first one in the list you can see is Finerci.com. Finerci HSO2 Intelligent Soldering Iron. Just click on this link and it'll bring you to the website. Hover over the downloads and a submenu should drop down and you will click on manuals and firmwares. Once you're on the support and download manuals and firmwares page, you can see categories listed. You'll need to click on soldering tools. Once you click on soldering tools, you'll see a list of available firmware as well as manuals. The HSO2A and HSO2B firmware updates. Both of these are 1.6 at this time and you'll notice that these are bin files. So these are the raw files and you won't need to unzip these or uncompress these before installing them. These you will download directly and put directly onto the soldering iron. So click on download underneath the firmware version that you need for your soldering iron. Once you have downloaded the firmware binary files, in this case I've downloaded both of them because I will also be getting the HSO2A which I will update. So once you have downloaded the firmwares, I would create a subfolder just as a temporary holder for the current firmware for the iron that you would be working with. If your subfolders and download folders are like mine, they're cluttered and full of all kind of stuff. So in this case, I would create a subfolder and place the firmware file in there so that there's less chance of accidentally grabbing the wrong file whenever we update the soldering iron. Okay, so uh, now we got the firmware downloaded and we've got it in a uh, subfolder in the downloads directory just to kind of, in case you've got clutter, because usually I have clutter in there. So just create a subfolder, put it in there. Uh, in this case, it's going to be a bin file, which is a binary file. And uh, let's get started on that. Now, this is going to be kind of a quick procedure. Uh, because once you initiate the, uh, the upgrade, this right here, uh, only stays in that mode for just a short period of time. And basically what happens is you turn this into a USB drive and put it on there, the firmware. So let's do that and see how it goes. Okay. So what we have to do is we will take, this is, uh, just a cable from Timu. Nice cable. I really like them. So you're going to hold the OK button down while you plug this in. And this will, and as soon as it pops up and shows you uh, the screen, will actually transfer the file. So hold the OK button, plug it in. There we go. So let's grab the firmware file. All right, so we got the firmware file updated on there. Okay, so now I apologize 
that I didn't I didn't go in here into the about menu and show you the version that this was at before I upgraded it. Uh, but if you go back to the uh, original video, the uh, review in there, I go to the about menu and it's version 1.4 is what this was when I reviewed it. And so <clears throat> once you, uh, once you get it uh, upgraded, which it's, Basically, it does it itself. You plug this in as normal. It comes on. It's going to hold both. It's going into the menu. Then we're going to go down to system set. And there's really no need to go into uh, firmware update because it's it's no it's no call for it it doesn't it, i don't see where you need it but go down to about and then hopefully you know what i'm just going to take this off so it's clear and hopefully you can see that it is now version 1.6 okay so to a quick recap um and by the way if if you like what you're seeing on this channel i would ask you to please like and subscribe uh, and stick around. I know there's going to be something here that you're going to enjoy. Um, so to recap, the process is with it unplugged. I'd go ahead and put a tip in it just because, not because I think it really has to have the tip. Uh, well, backwards. <laughs> uh, but because it's going to air. You saw that earlier whenever it was updated. So to, to kind of recap, I'm going to go back through because I don't need the actual power here now. Hold down OK. Plug it in. And you probably heard the drive come up on my computer. You're now in this mode, so you'll go to your bin file that you downloaded from the uh, Finercy website. You'll copy it over to the USB drive that comes up in your uh, on your computer when this is plugged in, and drop it. And and really, you just wait because uh, it'll it'll have time to copy the file over. Um, and then once it gets copied over, then this right here. The timer will error out or it'll see that it's got the uh, file copied onto it. And the drive will blank out and go back. See, it just did. It, the drive is no longer on the computer. Getting the low uh, voltage. Um, but that's because of the uh, being plugged into the computer. And at this point, you plug it into your power. Uh, start it back up again. And make sure you got the tip in there so you can see it. Then hold both up and down, and you'll go to the submenu, go down to About, and hit OK, and it'll show you that it's now updated to the new firmware. So, uh, again, uh, old lady gamer since 1990. Uh, I hope this helps you. Uh, if, if you have any other problems, I would be more than happy to try to help you out with that as well. Um, if it doesn't work as smoothly for you as it did for me, uh, then I will, as soon as I get the USB O2A uh, soldering iron in, I'll check the version on it because I believe the new version for both is 1.6. And so when that soldering iron comes in, I will do another, you know, another video if need be, if it's different. But at the same time, uh, I'll try to be smoother probably than I was this time because I just kind of throwed this together all at one time to try to get it out this weekend because I, I promised uh, I promised you that I would uh, get this out for you so hopefully this can update your uh, your firmware and if you if you would uh, please comment and let me know that everything worked out good for you or if you're still having problems uh, anyway guys I, I thank you uh, for spending your precious time here with me and uh, God bless.